Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now something interesting has cropped up here now and some people who emailed the council have been getting responses. How about that? But unfortunately, <laughs> you should be really annoyed. You should be angry actually because they're lying. The, the, you know, the council's first defense is draw bridges up, you know, windows closed, shields raised. The second defense is, well, they just lie about things. We'll lie about things. No one will check. No, no one will check because we're the council and we're an authority and people will believe us because of who we are. Well, I'm sorry, but I've done some fact checking. And let's look at what they was, they've been saying to people in their replies. They're saying, in terms of the CAA Part 101 rules, no person is permitted to operate a drone slash unmanned aircraft on or within four kilometres of the airfield without the following authorities. And they go on to say, aerodrome operator. So you must have the aerodrome operator's authority. B, membership of Model Flying New Zealand or NZJMA. Now, I know the rules inside out. That is not a requirement under CAA Part 101 rules. The council is claiming it is, but I know it is not. I've told them it is not a requirement. They don't believe me. They have on-staff experts who know these rules. Now, CAA have said it's not a requirement, but they don't believe CAA, the people who make and publish and enforce the rules, because the council has its own on-staff experts who know these things better than the regulator themselves. And this is not the first time. I, When I was trying to get uh, permission to fly drones in the parks in the local town here, I had a written letter from CAA saying you may fly drones in parks within four kilometres of the airfield as a shielded operation. When I presented this to the council, who were dead set against letting people drop, fly drones, the asset manager said, it's not true. You can't fly within four kilometres of an airfield, despite what CAA say. And the chief executive at the time said, this is only CAA's opinion. It doesn't necessarily apply to us. This is the level of arrogance this council has. Anyway, so I've pointed out you're wrong. No, no, we're not wrong. No, you're wrong, Mr. Simpson. What would you know? You're only an internationally acknowledged kind of pseudo-expert on regulation of drones around the world. You, don't, you know the, the New Zealand regulations, the Australian regulations, the UK regulations, Canadian, US. You keep up to date on all these things. But our staff member has drunk so much coffee and eaten so many donuts. They know better than anybody. Anyway, so that's what they're claiming. They're saying that the CAA regulations require membership of Model Flying New Zealand or NZJMA. So let's do a fact check. I've gone and done a Google and the, one of the results is aviation.gov.nz. This is the civil aviation website. It used to be CAA.gov.nz, but now it's aviation.gov.nz. This is a government website. If you can't believe the government, who can you believe? These, this is the website where the regulations are published. And we're going to go to Part 101 Consolidation. That's the, the latest version of the Part 101 rules. And here they are. It even says so. Part 101, dated 8th of February 2021. This is the latest and greatest straight from the government website. So what I'm going to do now is use the search function. I do control F and if I search for something like, I don't know, look, let's search for aerodrome. Um, there we go. Look, you see it brings up aerodrome highlights it there on every page where it occurs. So, so the search function works. That's fine. Let's go back to the beginning of the document. Um, how do I do that? I'll scroll up. Here we go. Back to the beginning of the document. And I shall now search for MFNZ. Oh, it's gone red. And over here it says phrase not found. So there's no mention of MFNZ in that entire rule, the entire document. No mention of MF, MFNZ. So maybe, maybe they put it Model Flying New Zealand. So maybe it's uh, not just the, the short, but it's the full thing. Model Flying New Zealand. Oh, not found. Hang on a minute. The council's told us that this rule says you must be a member of Model Flying New Zealand. But there's no mention of Model Flying New Zealand in the rule. The council's lying. They are lying. And NZJMA, let's try NZJMA. Perhaps, uh, perhaps we'll find a match for that. NZJMA. No match. Phrase not found. It is not a requirement under Civil Aviation Regulations Part 101 to be a member of MFNZ or NZJMA. But the council is telling you that it is. They are lying to you. And it's not a mistake because I told them they were wrong and they said no. So they are choosing to lie to you. Because, because they can't withstand the constant barrage of emails coming in, asking them for, they've just said, well, we just lie. Well, lie, they'll believe us. They're stupid, these people. You know, they're, they're friends of Mr. Simpson. They won't know, their be they won't know beans. If, you, if I was you, I would be outraged by the arrogance, the hubris of these people trying to lie to you about what the regulations say. They don't believe me. They don't believe CAA. They know what the regulations say, and they're going to tell you. Oh, this is 
utter bullshit, but this is what I have to deal with on a daily basis. They will go out of their way to exercise their little petty personal vendettas against me, and they'll make up lies to try and justify what they're doing. Now, they've said, we've never banned Mr. Simpson from flying at the airfield, but their letter basically says, um, what does it say? Um, Provide evidence of your membership of one of the aforementioned associations or discontinue use of the Tokoro airfield for drone and us and unmanned aircraft flying. It's not a ban. No, no, no. I, but they're demanding that I'm a member of an organisation that is not required under the rules of the civil aviation. But they're saying they are. This is using lies to enact a ban on me. <laughs> Oh, I don't think that's acceptable. Do you think the media will think this is acceptable? Do you think the media will be very impressed with a, a, a local government organisation that just has no ethics? No ethics at all, no morals, no ethics. It will just lie. People will believe us. And that's how these bureaucracies often work. They rely on the fact that people won't fact check. People will just take their word for, oh, they're the council, they must know what they're talking about. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's why I get so offside. I check facts. I believe facts are more important than lies. They don't. They think their lies are more important, but that's it. So if you have received this response, or if you receive this response, here's what I recommend you do. Poli re reply politely and ask them to quote the exact portion of the CAA Part 101 rules that require membership of MFNZ or NZJMA. The exact portion. I think you'll probably find that they, well, they won't respond. I think you'll find that, oh, they've been caught in a lie. What do we do? Draw bridge up. Windows closed, raise the shields again. <laughs> That's the one. It is so predictable. They, they will not want to lose face by backing down and saying, um, we were caught in a lie. No, they're not going to do that. And even if they say, oh, we made a mistake. Well, the level of incompetence that represents is enormous. When I told them they were wrong, CAA effectively told them they were wrong, and they wouldn't listen. How many other times do they deliberately lie or make mistakes and never acknowledge the fact that they could be wrong. How many other people are in, and things have been disadvantaged and suffered huge injustices because the council themselves cannot believe they could possibly make a mistake? Yeah. Okay, so there, go to it. Go to it. That's, that's your mission for today. Um, call them on this. I don't think lying to people is acceptable. They do, but I don't. So get back to them. Ask them to quote the exact portion of Part 101 where... MFNZ or JMA membership is required um, and they can't do it. What are they going to do? Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I didn't want to make another one of these videos, but this can't go unchallenged. I'm not having them lying to the people who are supporting me. Um, that's, no, I'm sorry. And you see what I have to deal with. I have to deal with this every damn day. Um, logic, um, reason, facts have no place in these petty bureaucracies that can't get over themselves, can't spend, how, many, how much time have they spent responding to people that emailed them about the situation, yet they can't find 30 minutes to sit down with me around a table and sort it out. That speaks to the level of prejudice involved when they're dealing with me. <laughs> They'll send goodness knows how many emails out to people around the world, but they won't talk to me. <laughs> anyway, I'll get on and do something useful. Thanks for your time, guys. I appreciate it. Comments. Tell me what you think. Is this acceptable? I don't think so. Anyway, um, next phase maybe to call on the media, but not yet. Not yet. I'll give them. I, 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 I want to give them every opportunity to sort this. If they don't, what are the media going to make of this? What will they make of this? I don't know. But we'll wait. We'll bring the media in later, only if we need to. In the meantime, spot you later, guys.